What's going on guys? Jacob Orth back here with another video of Jacob's Life in Vegas coming to you guys from downtown Las Vegas in front of a place that a few of you might recognize because today we are talking about how to get arrested in Las Vegas. I'm going to give you guys 16 ways that you can get arrested in Las Vegas. Some of these are enforced more than others. Some of these, hey, who knows, maybe you get lucky, but you could definitely wind up in jail right here in Las Vegas. What they say, right? What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, including you. If you do one of these, you'll be staying here in jail. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into the first thing, guys, what we're gonna be talking about today. First one, jumping into the Bellagio fountains, okay? If you are jumping into it, jumping into it, swimming, urinating, or even throwing trash in the fountains can get you arrested, okay? So you see these videos on Twitter and that kind of thing where, you know, someone jumps in, it looks all funny. You know, that might not have ended so well for that person. The second thing we're gonna talk about that can get you arrested here in Las Vegas is taking photos or videos while you are gambling inside the casino, okay? This is a big concern for lots of casinos because there are people who use their cameras for cheating at games. That's what they're concerned about when it comes to someone who's playing and gambling if they're using their cell phone. Now, that'll bring us to the next point here. We'll talk about the third way to get arrested in Las Vegas, and that is using the same concept but applying it to the sports book. Nevada gaming law actually says that no communication device can be used during wagering. So sports betting syndicates use cell phones to make illegal bets. It's a common, you know, uh, way they try to like beat the sports books. So the no cell phone rule um, is also true for table games and roulette and stuff like that. But you know, so again, sometimes it gets enforced more than others. The fourth way to wind up in jail right over here in Las Vegas and downtown is cheating in a casino. So if you're cheating at a casino game, that is defined as manipulating the outcome of the game or the payments made. A first time conviction is a category C felony carrying one to five years in prison, restitution, and up to $10,000 in fines. The fifth way to get arrested here in Las Vegas is disorderly conduct. And that's a very broad term and you can get charged with lots of different things when it comes to disorderly conduct. It's one of the most common because it's so broad. So that could be something, you know, like where it's actually physical, like in fighting, or maybe you're making threats to people, or it could be something, um, you know, less serious, or maybe it's just public drunkenness, public intoxication, or you're disturbing other people with loud noise or something like that. So there's a wide range of things you can get charged with, or a wide range of, um, the charge of disorderly conduct can fall under lots of different behaviors. The sixth way to get arrested here in Las Vegas is open and gross lewdness. Sexual acts in public, like out here, right? Right outside the police station. If you guys are wondering, heck, let me give us a shot here. So here's where I'm at. There you go, right over here, downtown. You guys a much better idea of where I'm at. So. If you are caught doing um, sexual acts in public or in a place that's, you know, quote unquote private, where others can see you, uh, non-sexual, non-consexual sexual conduct that falls short of sexual assault. The seventh way you can get arrested here in Las Vegas is buying illegal drugs. Kind of uh, goes without saying. So if you're on the strip, you're here downtown and you want to go ahead and take that risk from a stranger, uh, you're on your own. The eighth way to get arrested here in Las Vegas is not paying back a casino marker. Lots of people probably don't know that this is actually the only type of debt that you can go to prison for in the state of Nevada. So of all the debts you can have, this one will actually get you locked up. The ninth way to get arrested here in Las Vegas is you engage in prostitution. Now, despite what many people may think, this is not legal in Clark County, okay? Lots of people think of Las Vegas as being uh, anything goes and, you know, they think prostitution is legal, but it is not. In this county and up in Washoe County where Reno is, it is not legal, okay? Even when you think of brothels, those are regulated. Brothels are regulated. They're only in the rural parts of Nevada. And even in the rural parts of Nevada, not every single county actually has brothels. So you have to understand that, yes, Nevada does have legalized prostitution in certain areas, but right here in Clark County, where Las Vegas is, where most of the people in the state live, that is not one of them. The 10th way to get arrested in Las Vegas is smoking weed almost anywhere. Okay, yes, Nevada does have legalized um, recreational use for marijuana. And yes, now there are uh, legal smoke lounges where you can actually go and you know you can actually consume. So you have consumption lounges here in Nevada that we have. But when it comes to other places uh, in Nevada, you basically have to be in your private residence or you have to be in a residence of someone who's given you permission to be there, like a friend's place, family's place, something like that. So inside the hotels, big no-no. The hotels will not mess with it because they're so worried about their gaming licenses and they're worried <laughs> and they're worried because it's still federally illegal so the big hotels casinos they're totally hands off they don't want to touch it they see that in their property yeah the weed is going to be going and so are you probably now 
The other thing to keep in mind too, is that I've actually never heard of someone um, getting charged with just this uh, for, you know, like smoking out in public or anything like that. I um, mean, you see it happen here in Vegas, right? On the strip, downtown, uh, Fremont Street does happen. I've never heard of anyone getting arrested just for that. I have heard of people um, getting arrested, like seeing on, on Twitter, uh, people getting arrested and being charged with several things, and that just is one of them. So they're usually getting arrested for something else, and that just gets added on to it because they're already getting arrested anyway. Now, I'll give you guys a little bonus here to help you guys be on the lookout when you're here in Las Vegas. When you're on Las Vegas Boulevard between Mandalay Bay and Sahara, there are no dispensaries. So any CBD store that's trying to look like a dispensary is not. It's not a dispensary. And if you go in there thinking you're actually buying a product, um, you know, you're gonna be able to go in there and actually buy like you would from a dispensary. No, that's not what you're getting. Those are, those are not dispensaries. From Mandalay Bay all the way to Sahara, there's no dispensaries. The 11th way to get arrested here in Las Vegas is illegal fondling or sex with a stripper. So I know for some of you that's really heartbreaking to hear that yes, that is illegal. Um, fun fact though, lap dances are technically illegal in Las Vegas. Strippers are only allowed to dance on customers' legs. Fun fact, right? Another fun fact I'll tell you guys about strip clubs is that the city and the county have different rules. So one of the big notice things you'll notice if you've been to a lot of the strip clubs here in town is that strip clubs that fall under the city um, ordinances, the city's rules, they're actually not allowed to have closed door rooms in the VIP area. So if you were to go to, were to, go to like, uh, well, it used to be Cheetahs, you go to Treasures, if you go to like Little Darlings, places like that, um, those places, you go to the VIP, they're all these individual booths. There's no closed door on them. But if you go to places that are farther south, like you go to Sapphire, you go to Hustler, you go to places like that, they actually have VIP rooms where you have a separate room and the door actually does close because there are different rules between whether your club falls under the city's jurisdiction or the county's jur jurisdiction. Number 13 for ways to get arrested here in Las Vegas is renting a house and throwing a party. Party houses are banned in Clark County. The city of Las Vegas does allow them with restrictions, but there are definitely rules that go with this. This is even before um, Airbnb was so popular here, you know, all over the country, but was so popular here. There are definitely rules and restrictions regarding renting houses, renting out houses, throwing parties, all that kind of thing in the city and in the county. The 14th way to get arrested here in Las Vegas is carrying brass knuckles. Surprisingly, uh, possession of brass knuckles is a gross misdemeanor. So that is punishable by up to a year in jail and $2,000 in fines. The 15th way to get arrested here in Las Vegas is criminal anarchy. Nevada is actually uh, one of only 13 states with this law. So if you guys are wondering like what the hell that is, uh, that means it's a crime to conspire to overthrow the government by force or violence in the state of Nevada. There's only 13 states that have I do not know the 12 others that do, but Nevada is one of them. And the 16th way to get arrested here in Las Vegas is walking your dog on the strip. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> this probably sounds pretty surprising to people, but you can actually only walk your dog uh, between the hours of 5 a.m. and 12 p.m. And they must be on a leash or restraint no longer than three feet. So the leash or restraint has got to be three feet or shorter when you're walking your dog from 5 a.m. to 12 p.m. And by the way, in case anybody was wondering, um, snakes, like, you know, like, snakes, the slither, uh, on the strip. Those have to be two feet in length or less. And we'll give you guys some tips to help keep you out of jail so when you come to Vegas, you can enjoy it and be able to go back home on time. Now, overall, just remember, don't cheat in the casinos. Uh, don't drink or gamble if you're under 21. That's no bueno. Uh, make sure you have your ID with you. That's a big one here. Particularly a lot of international tourists are oftentimes used to not having to carry ID on them and not show ID in places. That's a big one. Carry your ID on you. Um, don't try to solicit a prostitute. Don't try to buy drugs. Don't get too drunk. And when you are drinking somewhere, be sure to pay your bar tab. I have actually seen this one myself. I actually watched a guy um, get taken out in handcuffs by Las Vegas Metro PD at a club because he was in the VIP room here and he did not want to pay for uh, the bottle that you know he had to pay for each hour he was within his room. Uh, in his VIP room, he actually had to pay for a bottle every time. That's how the club makes their money. And he didn't want to pay for it. He refused to pay for it. They did call the police on him. And I watched him get walked out by two police officers in handcuffs. So you can get arrested for that. So there's plenty of ways you can get arrested here in Las Vegas. Plenty of things that people can do that wind up landing them in trouble right here at the Clark County Detention Center. I've been inside there before. It's not the most glamorous place, I do have to tell you. So, but that's going to be this video, guys. If anything I missed in it, please tell me about it down below. Any other unique ways you can think of people getting arrested here in Las Vegas? Heck, if you've been arrested here in Las Vegas, you want to tell your story, tell it down in the comments. I would love to hear it. So, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for being so awesome. That is it for this video. I am Jacob, and this is my life in Vegas.